Now, the suspects in line uh, for the multi-million rand as best of roofing case have been granted bail. The Bloemfontein Magistrate Court ruled that the suspects hand over their passports and return to court in November. The bail of the four suspects had been set at 100,000 rand, with Edwin Saudi set to pay 500,000 rand. Newsroom Africa's Dumaole Mushaudi joins us live. Dumaole, I see behind you gathering individuals coming together to find out what the fate of those involved in this asbestos roofing scandal will be. We have just found out that they've been granted bail. What has been the reaction so far this afternoon? Very good afternoon to you. Well, the reaction so far, uh, as you can see behind me, quite jubilant uh, in terms of the reaction of those who came to support the suspects who appeared in front of court. Uh, earlier, I had managed to speak to those who are singing behind me here in court, and they had said that they feel that this whole prosecution is actually nothing more than a political witch hunt. They say that they feel that those who are appearing in front of the dock have done nothing wrong and that the case against them is just a political witch hunt that is meant to frustrate them and to meant to frustrate uh, they, they are uh, meant to frustrate uh, ANC Secretary General uh, Isma Khashwila because many of them are linked to him uh, in terms of uh, their political connections and being openly and knowingly close to him. Uh, but for more on uh, the, uh, the actual bail application, uh, I am now joined by uh, Mr. Sipongwema. Sipongwema, can you just let us know in terms of um, what happened in, uh, in court today, the suspects and uh, the conditions of their bail? Yes, uh, seven suspects appeared. They applied for bail. And we didn't oppose bail. However, we uh, set bail very high. Uh, for one of the accused, Mr. Sodi, we, uh, we set the bail at 500,000. He was granted bail at 500,000. Uh, but the rest, uh, accused number two, which is Mr. Matagala and uh, Abel, uh, they were granted 50,000 rands bail. And the rest of the other accused were granted bail at uh, 100,000. Um, the condition is that they surrender their passports, but also uh, they will come back on the 11th of November, we are expecting to make further arrests uh, that will be joined on the charge sheet. And as soon as that is done, uh, we want to start with the trial. So we presented the charge sheet today, which has got uh, 60 uh, charges. And as you know, that we are now going to the second leg, uh, implementing the asset forfeiture order that we were granted, uh, which is 300 million. We are going for the assets of all the accused, uh, Mr. Sodi's properties in Bryanston, his luxurious cars, uh, most of the accused and their properties. Uh, we are attaching household goods, we are attaching motor vehicles, we are attaching uh, trust accounts and bank accounts. Uh, all that must amount to 300 million so that the profit that was derived uh, from this particular crime uh, is taken out. So crime must not pay and crime shouldn't pay, and that's what the law enforcement agencies are saying. Uh, the magistrate was uh, very strong to say that uh, the amounts uh, that are mentioned here, as you've highlighted, are quite serious in the matter. However, uh, one is, is, is a bit confused as to why bail would be granted. Uh, of course, the amounts are quite high in terms of the bail itself, uh, but do you think that uh, this is uh, uh, justice in action, or perhaps uh, are they getting away uh, seemingly with a, a light slap on the wrist? No, not at all. You must remember the purpose of bail is to secure the accused to come to the trial. It's not a punishment. Punishment will come at the end of the case. So once the case is done, uh, the, the, the courts, if they are found guilty, then will be able to impose the sentence. Bail for now is to make sure that on the 11th of November they are able to come. So, but the bail amount must show the seriousness. So the amounts ranging from 50,000 to 500,000 shows that seriousness, that this is serious. But I must repeat, bail is to secure the accused to come. It's not a punishment. Thank you very much for clarifying that for us. And that was uh, Sipongwema. Just uh, uh, clarifying exactly uh, what it means in terms of uh, the bail that has been granted to the suspects uh, in the asbestos matter. And of course now uh, um, officials from the assets forfeiture unit are now going out um, to seize uh, assets, including vehicles, including properties, and also including investment accounts uh, to try and recoup the monies uh, that have been mentioned uh, in this multi-million rand asbestos saga 
fraud case. So this is where we stand at the particular moment. Uh, but behind me again, if I can just recap, uh, the supporters uh, had been singing and very vocal. Uh, they are seeing this as something of a victory, uh, saying that, uh, of course, they will be here right throughout, even when uh, the suspects return here to court uh, in a few weeks' time uh, to support them and to say that they are here to make their voices heard because they believe that this is nothing more than a political witch hunt, despite what the court has ruled and the amount when it looks at the bail and the seriousness of the charges against the suspects. Now, one thing to Maole is we were not able to uh, say who these uh, seven uh, suspects are. If you could just go through them and, and give us the names now that they have appeared in court, we hear that uh, Mr. Sodi is definitely one of them. Yes, Mr. Sodi is uh, definitely one of them, Tami. Uh, and um, in terms of uh, the other suspects, um, I will give you the, uh, their names. Um, one of them, of course, is uh, Foma Mangawung uh, Mayor, and uh, she also appeared. She was sitting in the dock. Uh, and um, in terms of uh, the other suspects, others are linked uh, to, of course, um, the company that was, uh, you know, earmarked to remove the asbestos. Um, from the houses in the Free State. Uh, we will be getting a full name of the list as they appear. Uh, as I was speaking to Mr. Ngrema, he's going to release the full name of the suspect. They were read out in court. I'll be able to give those to you. If you can just give me a moment.